Welcome to part two of our series on engineering presentations. In this video, we will explain why planning is so important to a successful engineering presentation and give you strategies to plan effectively for any presentation scenario you may encounter. There is no substitute for adequate planning and practicing your talk. As a professional engineer, you need to treat each presentation scenario with the importance it deserves. When you see an excellent presentation, you may see 20 minutes of a speaker talking, but what you don't see is the many hours of planning and practice that went into making it successful. The first step to planning a presentation is not to start by opening PowerPoint, but instead to analyze your speaking situation. Take the time to carefully consider a few key questions. What is your presentation goal? That is, what does this meeting need to achieve? What is your speaking situation? Is it public, private, with a large group, or a small team? Who is your audience? What various groups of people will be there? Audiences are rarely homogenous. Finally, what is the context? Is this a project the audience is excited and knowledgeable about? Or are you trying to convince someone of something? By answering these questions, you can determine what information and approach to presenting best helps you achieve your goal. Let's consider an example of holding a public meeting to share the plan for a new Greenway route and to hear feedback from local residents. First, what is your goal with the presentation? One goal is to achieve enough public engagement that you have community buy-in for your project. The second would be to hear feedback so that you can be sure to adequately address any concerns that get raised and to make sure the project serves the community. A third goal may be to meet a requirement set by the local government who is paying your firm to complete the work. After you establish your goals, assess the situation and consider your local context. A meeting with a private client to update the progress of a project is quite different from the situation and context for a public meeting. Consider our Greenway example again. Is this a community with a lot of existing Greenway space who frequently use their Greenways and are gladly welcoming another one? Or is this the first time the community is getting such a space? So this process is new and they view it as costing a lot of money. You want to be sure to honestly assess what the varying audience perspectives may be coming in to hear your presentation. Speaking of audiences, you want to analyze the multiple types of audiences you might have in a presentation. Here are some questions to consider. Who will be there? What do they know about the project? What do they need to be brought up to speed on? What values do they have? Where will they agree with you in your work? Where might they disagree with you? What do they expect to get out of this presentation? What stories and examples could you share that would speak to them? Will they need to use the information from your presentation to vote on or select something? Let's apply this thinking to our Greenway scenario. One audience for your presentation is local residents who will use the Greenway for recreation. Why are they there? To learn about our new resource their local government is funding, perhaps. What will they value? Well, they are looking for useful recreational space. Perhaps some will care about it being family friendly. Others will look for adequate parking and some may want the trail space maximized. Another audience is residents who don't necessarily want the Greenway and want to understand how the local area is being affected. They may care about the increase in traffic to their road as people start using the new Greenway and want to see adequate turn lanes or stoplights to control traffic. You may also have city government officials present who are overseeing the process and want to be confident in your company's handling of the project. As you can see, we have only considered three groups of people, but we have seen very different ways of thinking about your projects and the topics that you need to make sure you adequately address when speaking. Once you have finished this initial analysis, you can begin to brainstorm how the story of your presentation should come together. What information do you need to share? What content needs to come first for other parts to make sense? What details are necessary? and what can be left out. Your outline should begin to take shape and you can make bullet points for each topic that you can speak extemporaneously from. Avoid writing a script that you will memorize. 
To outline your presentation, consider the sections of your talk to cover. What should be in your introduction? Do you need to provide background information? Should you explain who your company is and why you are part of the project? This slide demonstrates the beginning of our Greenway example presentation outline. You will likely add much more detail than this to your outline. This is a simplified example to help you get started. Once you have an outline, you can start to plan what graphics you should include with your presentation. You should choose graphics that help demonstrate to your audience the points you are making. Graphics should always complement what you say. They shouldn't be a substitute for an explanation. Selecting appropriate graphics is an important part of the planning process, as you may need to modify existing graphics or design a chart or table specifically for display on a slide. A few best practices include having a single large image per slide, ensuring the image is high quality for clear display on a screen, and labeling a figure like the legend in the on-screen example to help your audience understand the main message. We explain effective slide design in more detail in the next video of this series. In conclusion, every great presentation begins with effective planning. It is important to start early enough to ensure you can think through all of the elements introduced here. Only after you have planned your content should you open slide software and develop your slides. In the next video in our series on presentations, we'll show you how to design stellar slides. Stay tuned!